Hey everybody, today we will construct a parallel line and we will construct it using the alternate method. The previous method was the corresponding angle method. In this case, we will do a perpendicular line followed up by another perpendicular line. Let me show you. So step number one will be to make a perpendicular line through the point to the original line. So I'm gonna put my pencil below the line. I will hit that line in two locations. Step two, I will then move my compass to the first intersection point. I will make my compass a little bit larger. I will swing below. Then go to the other intersection point. Keep your compass the same radius, swing below. So from there, I will draw a line passing through the point and the intersection down below. This line will now be perpendicular to the original line. I'll change colors, and what I'll do now is I will now make another perpendicular line through the vertical line on the screen. So I'm going to now anchor at the point on the vertical line. Now conveniently change your radius so that it will not interfere. So like this would be a poor choice to leave it the way it is right now. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and my goal is now to hit this vertical line in two locations, all right? So I'm going to swing, and I'm going to make two cuts and hit that line twice. All right, I'll change color to green. Please make your compass now larger, significantly larger. Okay, go to the first intersection, and you're going to swing above. But now keep in mind, above is now kind of to the right. So I'll swing above. I'll go to the other intersection. I will swing above as well, creating a nice X. And if you do it correctly, I should be able to now take my straight edge and connect the dot and that green X. And if I do that, you should get a nice parallel line to the original. I'll just put a couple of arrowheads on these to show that it's a line. And that should be it. Thanks for listening.